That looks sweet. The flight was good, like the direction of flight too was good, like it wasn't, it was pretty straight and stuff. That's good. The shoot? How fast did it fall? Oh, uh, like not too fast. Soft. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty soft. Like, kind of just touched cool. down. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to Orion Aerospace. We just got back from our first and second launches of the Spectre Advanced Rocket, which really is our sixth and seventh launches of the Spectre Series Rocket. Yeah, so sadly, uh, Hugh couldn't make it to the launches, um, just timing couldn't work out. But here he is, through the power of the internet, sending his regards to you guys. Um, you know, I'm glad that this launch was successful. I apologize that this is all you're getting. You know, I know that you all need your, your bit of Hugh magic. You're not really getting it through this. So, you know, I apologize for all I'm able to give you. Um, and yeah, and so without further ado, we're just gonna go show you guys the first first flight. Um, this is just raw footage of the first flight from all the camera angles we got. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So as you just saw, that launch was beautiful. Uh, it performed great on ascent and descent, and it was just really good to see a successful launch all the way around. Yeah, so our first fully successful ascent and then descent, beautiful. I mean, like, worked perfectly, nothing went wrong. And yeah, it's just beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's all we have to say about that. Yeah, see you guys next time. We'll see you guys next time. I'm out of here. Just kidding, we still have another flight to do. Don't leave yet, please. Don't leave yet. Two, one. Go. Percy, come on, baby. Two, one. Go. Percy, come on, baby. So as you just saw in the test, we ran out of light. The test still did great on the way up. It flew actually wonderfully. Yeah. Um, despite uh, the nose cone popping off right after liftoff, but not actually falling off. So we kind of had the nose cone dragging alongside the rocket yeah. for the entire flight. It's kind of just <laughs> hanging off the side. Not exactly aerodynamic. Um, but I do get a flex how awesome my software was because even with that, even with like the unpredictable drag on the side, it still corrected and went beautifully back up right. So yeah. Nice. Yeah, so the nose cone, uh, it was a little bit fiddly to get on it. Um, I mean, as of course you saw in the first clip, it worked great. Uh, just a little bit difficult to get on and not exactly secure when it was on. Yeah. So it gave us a little trouble, but of course it still, it still worked really the first time. So. And then it was just, maybe just something wasn't quite locked in all the way for that second one. So when it just accelerated, it just fell off. Yeah. But new designs are coming. Yeah. So it's now time. That's actually way, way too suspenseful. It's not that. We're, we're doing a new rocket. Um, we felt like we sort of exhausted all of the things we can do with Spectre. Um, and now it's time to move on. Next challenge. So it's gonna be our new rocket. We're gonna be hopefully doing some test flights of that in December. And yeah. Yeah. So this new rocket, we don't have a name for it yet. Um, basically it's gonna be a two-stage rocket with thrust vectoring on both stages. Our other goal for it is that it's gonna be easily configurable so we can is that a word? Yeah, easy configurable. Okay, yeah. It'll be configurable. It'll have multiple configurations. Yes, uh, so I mean, we can add boosters on, we can add different things to the top stage. Uh, basically, it'll, it'll do cool things. It'll do very cool things. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll document our progress on that along the way in, of course, our separate videos. We're gonna be at different universities, but we'll keep putting up individual videos just on different, different all parts sorts of, the of things. Yeah, and all sorts of things that are yeah. going on. Um, but yeah, so that'll be the new rocket and that'll be coming up pretty soon. It's gonna be a lot more powerful, a lot bigger, and just everything on it will be really cool. Yeah. So, yeah. 
Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching um, for our first success. Yeah. Thank you to everyone who's been a long part of the journey. Um, we're really happy that we were able to make it to this point and it's definitely not the end. We're hoping to, as we say, move on to better things mm -hmm. and do more challenging things um, as, as we go along. Yeah. We're also planning on flying Spectre a couple more times with F-size motors. Uh, so hopefully get some more height, some more yeah. speed, um, and give you, give you guys some more thrust vectoring. Yes. Yeah. It's always fun to see. One sec, I'm receiving a call. Oh, never mind. It says go to bed by 12 a.m. to get eight hours of sleep. Make sure you guys get eight hours of sleep. It's vital. Um, we want every one of you to be healthy so that you can spend all day refreshing the page on our channel for when this video gets uploaded. Subscribe. And subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Do it. Follow us on Instagram. Do it. At Orion Aerospace. Talk to us on Gmail. You can. It's at orionaerospace.liftoff at gmail.com. should be right up here. It'll be right there. Right it might there. be right there. It's really hard to track things. But email us. Do it. Please, do it. Talk to us about rockets. Do it. Ask us how our day was. It was probably pretty good.